But I'm going to just jump right into it. And I won't hold y'all long tonight. Uh, because truthfully, I've been in deep thought. You know, and, and it's a funny thing for any of you guys, you know, as we get older, we, we, we start to see life different. And it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. You know, even for me, as I get older, I'm noticing it's just subtle changes. Once upon a time, I used to love eggs. And, you know, my taste buds are changing. I like eggs, but I don't love them the way I used to. A lot of the things I used to love doing, I don't love it no more. Or things that I never thought I'd do. Now I'm just really into it. Like, for instance wildlife as crazy as this might seem but i spend half of my time watching nature channels and and animal kingdom and all like the discovery channel and i was watching a program the other day and they was just spotlighting the 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 lifespan of a caterpillar and how it goes through the whole process of changing into a butterfly and I'm sitting there and I'm just glued because for me, I'm like, yo, damn, like, you know, life is amazing. Like we change the people who we once was. If you get old enough, you're not going to be that same person. And truth be told, you don't want to be that same person. And as I was watching that show, I kind of came to learn, like, which I didn't know is 90 Eight percent, like literally ninety-eight percent of, or better, ninety-two percent of all of the butterfly eggs, they never become butterflies. So you can see these caterpillars out there, but when they go through the transformation process, most of them, if not all of them, die. Only eight percent of them live to become full-blown butterflies and i'm sitting there and i'm thinking like change is such a beautiful and, and that's what i want to like guys we sit here and we fight change we sit here and we look at change like it's a bad thing when in essence god designed us to change nothing about us is supposed to stay the same the longer that we live on this earth we are supposed to grow and we are supposed to blossom into something new every single day. And I was talking with somebody over the weekend and we were just getting into it. And I was saying how I admire people who are with their high school sweethearts or they are with their college sweethearts. Because do you know how hard it is to be with somebody who you met at 14, 15, 16 years old? And you still with that same person 20, 30, 40 years later, like people celebrating 50 year anniversaries, I give it up to them. And it's hard because it's one thing to go through the regular, you know, trials and tribulations, the ups and downs of a relationship. But under all of that, as you change, you better pray that both of y'all you change in the same direction. You both grow in the same direction. And most people, they don't make it. Not because they don't love each other. Not because they got problems or one did something outside of the marriage. Like, just sometimes, yo, we when we got together, we were 16. We 26 now. If I was the same person today as I was 10 years ago, I would be doing myself a disservice. Like, and if we're not growing together, it ain't no way we could be, but change it. And, you know, people, they sit around and they throw stones at each other and they talk about he changed or she changed. Why is that a bad thing? Since when, like, like people say it like it's a bad, and it's not. It's a good thing. And I remember my brother, you know, he had been together with his wife for some time. And, you know, they got a couple of kids together and... When they broke up, he came and he stayed with me for a little while. And every day, my brother, I give him this much. He'll wake up in the morning and he would hit the gym. And he was very disciplined about doing all of those things. Because when we was young, when Sean Prez was out and I was playing ball and I was out running up and down the court, my brother 
he was in the street and him and his crew, they was lifting weights. Now this guy is only one year older than me and we went to the same high school and I can remember him walking around the high school in a white beater, him and his little crew, and he's looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger or somebody. And as he got older, doing what he do, living a fast life, being in the streets, hanging out, and all of those good things, he put on a lot of weight. So he's still a powerful brother up under that, but he put on a lot of weight. And he was telling me for years, Sean, I'm about to transform my body. I'm going back to the old me. And I would watch him going to the gym day in and day out. And he would be doing all of the stuff that he was supposed to do. But he wasn't losing one pound. Actually, he was gaining weight. And I was asking him, like, yo, son, like, when are we going to see the results of what you're doing in the gym? Because you, you're clearly doing it, but I don't see the results. And when he came to stay with me, I would see him every day after work. He called it, yo, I got to make my little concoction. And he would make his drinks and it would be a half, like a half gallon of something. I don't know, vodka mixed with this, mixed with that, mixed with... And it occurred to me, like, you're doing all that you need to do to work on the outside to transform that. But your mind hadn't changed. You're still drinking like a fish, hanging out, doing all of the stuff. And it's not balancing itself out. So because even though you're putting in the work in one area, it ain't balancing itself out in the other area. And he couldn't lose that weight. And I'm sitting there laughing at him, but it, it made sense to me at that point. And that's what I'm trying to explain tonight to you guys. Transformation. Let's just focus on that word for a second. Transformation. It implies some type of metamorphosis. It implies some kind of difference being made. Transformation, that's the road. That's the process. But change is where you want to end up. Transformation is just temporary. You're on that road. But the change, that is permanent. So if you guys are trying to be successful and success, it is not always measured in the size of your bank account. It ain't always measured in the type of car you drive. How about you changing as a husband, as a wife, as a parent? How about you changing as a member of society so you can do all of the things on the outside change your clothes, ride in a new car, all of those things, that is transformative. But until you get to the destination, which is change, nothing in your life is going to produce. And as I sit and I evaluate my own self and I look around, I start to think like, yo, this change thing, we can't fight it. We got to embrace it. It is necessary for us to change. I sit and I watch how people spend hundreds of dollars on smart watches and they can monitor every calorie that's going in. Their heartbeat down to the second. You can monitor how many steps you took in that day, how much you ran, what, how much you sweat. All of those things you're monitoring, but you're monitoring what's on the outside. What are we doing to monitor what's on the inside? Are we investing in any technology? Are we investing in anything to say, how many calories did I burn tonight on the junk that I took in for my brain? How much did I take in today that had absolutely nothing to do with my growth? How much did I take in today that will not be productive or progressive? How much did I take in today that is gonna hold me back and not allow me to change into what I wanna become? Because we will invest in all of this outside stuff. We'll invest in looking good and people see us. And in the mirror, we strolling down the streets and we look like a million dollars. But on the inside, we them same rotten people we've always been. We got the same bad habits. And if we're trying to go to the next level, we got to break the bad habits. Change and transformation. Transformation, it is external. But change.
It's internal. It's in here. It's up here, y'all. And this is what we need to focus on. And every day, I'm of the mindset, mind, body, and spirit. A lot of us focus on the whole body thing. But what are we doing? What books are we reading to focus on the mind and the spirit? Are we in church? Are we listening to, to educational and inspirational things to really change our spirit? I know people just like y'all coming from the hood. And they done did a hundred years locked up. Come home and they look like they can live buildings. The epitome of being just statuesque. Muscles from everywhere. But when they get home, they back in the penitentiary a year later, two years later, because they spent every waking moment lifting everything they could in that gym, but they never lifted a book. They never took time to say, yes, I'm working on outside, but it's that inside that I need to change. And this is something we all got to think about. Me being from the South Bronx, y'all know I talk about the South Bronx all the time. And one of the, the, the biggest regrets of my life is not investing in that place. Like once upon a time when I was coming up, the South Bronx was a war zone. And I watched as Harlem was gentrified. I watched as Brooklyn was gentrified. And it was only a matter of time before the Bronx was going to be gentrified. But because I'm from there and I can only see it the way that I knew it, I didn't see it with new eyes. And I never invested in it. And now that same Bronx that once upon a time nobody wanted to live in, million dollar condos, multi-million dollar houses, it's priced out right now. But because Sean didn't change, I didn't get in on one of the greatest investments. I know the neighborhood inside and out. But because I saw it through my old eyes, I couldn't get into something. And I want y'all to change the way that you see things. Work on the inside. And your outside will follow behind. Remember, transformation or transforming, that's just the road that you're traveling. But don't get stuck on that road. The ultimate destination is to make it to change. And change is permanent. Change is lifelong. And that's where we all need to go. Peace, y'all. Like, like, you know, this was just something on my mind. I told you I wanted to keep tonight short and sweet. And I really wanted to focus on something that I feel like we all, you know, we talk about change like it's a bad thing. And it's not. Change is a good thing. We should always be changing. We shouldn't be looking at somebody because they changed and talk about them with negative connotations. We should actually be aspiring to be them. Change is something that if you are going to get to the next level, you got to do.